Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. We are on our last day of our adventure. We're in South Dakota and uh, yeah, that's a bear right there. And uh, it's gonna be an amazing day. We're just gonna adventure a bunch of stuff. Just gonna see bear, elk, you know, whatever we come across. And then we're off to Mount Rushmore and then we're gonna check out some dinosaur stuff too. It's gonna be an amazing last day of this adventure. Cannot wait to share it with you guys. So what do you say we push our problems aside for the next 15 minutes and have an amazing day? I always love stopping at any kind of little attraction that has animals in it. So it's pretty cool. This place isn't far from Mount Rushmore and it's got, again, it's got little wolves over here. It's got bears. Look it's got- this. Look at it. There's a badger. Oh, it's got a badger. Hey guys, look at a badger. <laughs> it's this place is so cool man it's uh, again I love places like this it's uh, it's just a perfect day too it's a little bit chilly not too bad beautifully sunny out here uh, definitely a great way to end this amazing trip so but we still have more to go here guys this is uh, this is definitely a lot of fun. Guess what, guys? What's well, up, dude? We're, not... we're off to Mount Rushmore! <laughs> Uh, I've been wanting to see this place since I was a kid, man. This is going to be so dope. I can't, I wait. can't wait. So, uh, next stop, what are they? Mount Rushmore. George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Teddy Roosevelt, and Abraham Lincoln. That's right, baby. He was in history class. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we at? We're at Mount Rushmore. Ridiculous. Look at this. <laughs> so we're here at Mount Rushmore and I tell you what, I'm gonna be totally honest with you. You know how a lot of people hype things up and you think like it's probably gonna be a little underwhelming, like I'm gonna be disappointed. Well, not at all. I mean, it's actually overwhelming. Way cooler than I could have ever expected. Absolutely wonderful, man. This is so cool. We're gonna as close as we could possibly get, but I'm already blown away. No, how's the trip been, man? Last day of the trip, what do you think? I'm tired. You're tired? I'm, yeah, and I'm a little hungry. And a little hungry. But this is cool. But it's been amazing, hasn't it, Ben? Yeah, it's been real cool. As we're wrapping up this long trip on this last day, it's been so memorable, so many different things. The only thing that I wish on a day like today, seeing Mount Rushmore in the background, is that I wish Lori was here to share it with me because I know she would really appreciate it. So definitely gonna have to come back. And you know, there's been some advantages to kind of traveling during this weird time when not a lot of people are around. I'm sure normally uh, this place is packed and there's virtually no one here. So uh, we've been blessed, there's no doubt about it. And we've been as safe as we possibly can and, and taking every precaution we could possibly take. But uh, this, is, uh, this is amazing, this is truly truly breathtaking and I realize that you can't really experience what I'm experiencing by standing here but I'm hoping that you guys are at least feeling some of that emotion because it's absolutely incredible. So this is the closest you can get without climbing these rocks and there's signs out here that say if you climb these rocks he gets six months in jail. So I was trying to talk Anthony into it, but he wouldn't do it. It would have been worth the shot, wouldn't it? All right, guys, this is a treat for me. I mean, my love of reptiles started with these, my love of dinosaurs. And this place is world famous for dinosaurs. I mean, unbelievable. I wasn't sure we were gonna be able to actually get here because they were closed because of COVID until today. They just literally opened up today. So uh, we're basically the only ones in here getting a chance to run around and seeing these amazing fossils. Oh my gosh, this is incredible.
as we're kind of wrapping up, I mean, literally going to hit the road here relatively soon. Start heading back home. Uh, what was your favorite part? I mean, that was a crazy 12 or 13 know. days. I know it was like our brains a little done. So favorite part? We started off Indiana. We moved to St. Louis. Then we went to Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. Then we did Texas. Yeah. The Painted Desert. Yeah, that was my favorite. You think the Painted Desert? Yeah. Really, it was beautiful. The painted Desert, the Petrified Forest. Yeah. That was a good day. Yeah. How about Vegas? Vegas was fun. Vegas <laughs> was fun. Uh, but I just think the Petrified Forest is the best. Yeah. I, I think that was pretty dope. Take a look at this. This this particular skull is something I'm so interested in. I mean, think about that. I mean, this is literally a crocodile from the prehistoric times. I mean, I think it reached like 50 to 70 feet in length when it was alive. I mean, that is crazy. I mean, look at the size of that thing. Oh my God, it's teeth and oh, I'm in heaven, guys. I literally cannot believe it. Of course, and everyone knows this right here. Unbelievable. This is actually Stan, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Oh my God, a T-Rex. This this fossil right here one day was alive, running around. I mean, you know, any animal lover, and in particular reptile lover, could just really get the idea of the beauty of something like this. I mean, and yes, the, the answer is if, if I could keep a Tyrannosaurus Rex, if it was alive, yes, I would have this. So Ant-Man, where was, what was your favorite part of this whole adventure? Favorite you know, it's hard highlight? to, I know it's hard to pick up, man. That's tough. Maybe Red Rock Canyon. Canyon. Oh, uh, Red Rock. Was Red great. Rock was pretty sweet, and then probably this place. This place is super awesome too. I love this place. This might be the highlight for me. It's amazing. Jay, take a look at this sea turtle, dude. Isn't it incredible? It's crazy to think that this is actually real. You know? Well, that's the thing. It's almost like hard to separate yourself from the fact that they're boats, and that at one point this was a organism that lived, breathed, and ate. And yeah, it's wild. I mean, I've got chills. This whole thing, I've got chills. I mean, this is. Incredible, and of course, this is just the whole kind of outlay to stands excavation here. This this guy right here, oh my gosh! So if you guys haven't had a chance to see Dinosaur 13 on Netflix, this is the place where it was all about. It was an incredible documentary. I loved it, and and honestly, I never thought I was going to get a chance to be in the place where it kind of came to light. You know, it's a great. Please do me a favor if you want to check it out. If you're into it, it's really kind of a tragic story of the first full T Rex. Uh, and, and these were the guys that were in it. I mean, how crazy is that? And I mean, look at this. I'm standing right by a giant T-Rex thing. Again, the true story of Sue right all here. I mean, this is, uh, wow. guys, I'm giddy. This is a great way to end this trip. Jay. What's up, dude? So we've had quite the adventure. I, can't, I couldn't even tell you. Yeah, it's absolutely. amazing. I mean, I know it sucks that it's almost coming to an end, but good place to end it, though. It's a great place to end it. What was is there a highlight? What was the best part? So, I mean, all the nature stuff in general, but I think Blue Mesa when we went to the Petrified Forest and pictured rocks. I've never felt less like I was on Earth. Yeah. Than I was at that place. The colors and. The, the vibe of the whole place was just intense. So, I mean, that was great. But any of the nature stuff, even the little part of Yellowstone we got to see, go into Red Rock Canyon, yeah. and then today in the Black Hills, it, all that stuff's been incredible, you know? And as for me, when it comes to my favorite part, uh, you know, I don't know. I think that there were so many adventures and so much to have. I think the fact that not only I got to share it with my son Noah, uh, my friends Jay and Anthony, uh, and shared it with you, I mean, that was special to me. I'll be able to look back on these vlogs, and uh, this is like my video diary, right? For the rest of my life, I'll be able to remember this, and I hope that uh, you guys have enjoyed it too. Let me know in the comments what your favorite part of this last 10 or 12 days has been. I'd love to hear just what you thought was so awesome.
You know, again, this journey meant so much to me. I think back 13 days ago, just before we were leaving, thinking that I wouldn't even be able to make it one day, saying I might turn back after one day. And it's been so amazing, you know. It's been uh, clearing of the mind. It's been spiritually amazing. It's been a great time having so much fun, seeing so many places. And to me, this was uh, exactly what I need. Now I'm praying that when I get back to the shop that I can carry on this lack of anxiety and this new kind of enlightenment that I have right now and just do it. It's been amazing, but I gotta be honest with you guys, it's been hard to be away from my animals, Lori, my crew, just the routine. I tell you what, I can't wait to get back, but uh, I think it's time to hit the road and to go home. And we're back here at the Reptarium after a 17 hour drive. We wrapped up this whole road trip. It was absolutely amazing. If you enjoyed it, right here I'm making a playlist so you can watch the entire adventure again if you so choose. Thank you for your support. Do me a favor, right up here you can subscribe to my podcast. We're gonna be doing a podcast talking about our journey. On this side, I hope that you're subscribed to this vlog channel. If you're not, please do so and turn your post notifications on. 